Here at home, President Biden's popularity slipping even further to just 37% as Russia's war on Ukraine reaches a new dangerous phase. Joe Concha joins us live to break down the numbers. And Joe, just diving into these poll numbers, numbers a little further, you see that uh, Democrats gave Biden 77% approval, uh, which is a low score for a president of your own party. Oh, Carly, it is. And when you consider the last president and Trump was usually in the 90 percent range in terms of party approval. And, and when you dig deeper into the president's numbers, it only gets worse for Mr. Biden. He's at just 30 percent approval among independents. Uh, but here's what's most disturbing, considering we're talking about the leader of the free world. Joe Biden is 14 points underwater on Americans believing he has the mental sharpness to serve effectively. Just 40 percent believe he has the mental sharpness to do the job. 54 percent do not. That's a perception, an impression that is very difficult to reverse. And it will lead to a red tsunami in the November midterms with Republicans now, you know, up 10 points in the generic ballot. Uh, that is big time trouble. We're talking, talking about maybe 70 seats being flipped to the Republican Party if that number holds. It was so interesting to me about what you just said, Joe. Look at those numbers. That's not the number of people that voted for him. So people are obviously having major buyer's remorse right now. Um, Got to get your thoughts on this. This is a concha topic, if ever there has been one. FEMA <laughs> reminding people to wear masks um, in the case of a nuclear event. Yeah, not a joke, not an onion headline. Here it is. Go to the basement or middle of the building. Stay away from outer walls and roof. Try to maintain a distance of at least six feet between yourself and people who are not part of your household. And if possible, wear a mask. Again, this is if there is a nuclear explosion, an event like a bomb going off. Are these people for real, Joe? You've seen Terminator 2, right? And Linda Hamilton's trying to warn people on the playground uh, to, to get off because the nuclear bomb's about to go off and that her face basically melts off when, when it happens. Uh, yeah, yeah. In case of a possible nuclear holocaust, keep up masking and be sure to socially distance. And, and, and if you th think you have COVID, it also says, quote, call 911 and be sure to put on a mask before help arrives. It actually says this. I mean, this is several flavors of stupid guys and gals. And, and then, again, this isn't some blogger saying this. This is the United States government. This is is FEMA and their recommendations, and it's not old recommendations either. This was updated just two days ago, Todd. Oh, man. Yeah, go to the basement in the serious? middle of a building, also bring a mask. It just seems like, all right, what really is important here? Totally, totally unbelievable. Yeah, call 911. Wow. Yeah. They're not going to be busy with anything else, Joe. <laughs> oh, COVID, we're, we're going to get right on that. Everything else is fine. I, but this is scary, Joe, because these are the people that are in charge mm -hmm. of not just this. They're in charge of our entire federal response to everything. I don't even have, I don't have anything to add at this point, Todd. Yeah. I think, I think we pretty much smothered this at this point. <laughs> I know. Joe, thank you so much for joining us. We'll check back with you soon. I could be the Bye, scariest guys. 